Liberty's a young bird, and uh, we got her in Kingwood. Actually, she's, she was in a car dealership sitting on the side of a pickup truck bed, and she was totally emaciated and dehydrated when we got her. She had had a collision. She had some soft tissue damage to, I think it was her right wing. Um, it was enough to weaken her from flying to the point that she wasn't efficient enough that she could feed herself. Mm -hmm. So we, we got her and, and that was, uh, I think it was the 3rd of July that we got her. And then we've had her to today. She weighed uh, 100 or 1900, 1,890 grams when we got her and she weighed in this morning at uh, 4,097 grams. So we more than doubled her body weight from July till, till now. But people are learning. Um, I know 15 years ago nobody knew anything about the young birds, but the young birds, they don't get the white head in, in our estimation until they're really in their fifth or sixth year. Um, you know, it's, they'll have to molt so many times, so they'll have to molt like four or five times before they get the totally white head and, white head and tail. There's a pair that nests right here on this lake. Uh, and they had young this year, and they've nested here for several years. We have um, a nest, and at least one nest on Cheat Lake. Now you're not going to, this bird won't stay here. It'll be seven or eight years old before it's adult enough that it will mate anyway. Uh, but the bald eagles are off the endangered list. And quite honestly, if you pick, today's not a very good day. But if you were to come up here and lay on this road all day long and look at a blue sky, a bald eagle would fly over you almost any day. They're, they're not as common as uh, some other species, but they're very, they're very common now. I mean, they're, they're prevalent and their population is doing real well.